Well, to give you a little feeling of Rutherford scattering, let's do a calculation of how close an alpha particle can uh, come to the nucleus of a nickel atom. We'll give this alpha particle 2.4 MeVs of kinetic energy. We want to calculate that closest distance of approach. We're making a head-on collision. So here's our alpha particle, and we're coming into the nickel nucleus. Now, what kind of concept might we employ? We're told that we have some kinetic energy to start with. The alpha particle carries a charge of plus 2. You'd have to look up, but the nickel uh, nucleus has 28 protons. So it's a charge of plus 28 units. And then there are 30 uh, neutrons for one isotope of nickel. So why would there be a limit on how close the alpha particle could come to the nickel nucleus? Well, we're going to have a repelling force. And what's going to happen here is that the kinetic energy we start with will all be transferred into potential energy. So you ought to give a little thought on <coughs> how we would calculate the potential energy. Think back to the first part of this semester. Now the potential energy is K, Q1, Q2, over R. <coughs> it's not R squared. That would be the force. It's just divided by R. So we can uh, do this calculation. We're given the amount of kinetic energy. We do not use 1 half mv squared. We already have the energy amount. We don't need to calculate velocity. So we just go uh, right for it. So 2.4, the mega electron volts, millions of electron volts. That's a 10 to the 6, the electron volt unit. However, we are going to need standard metric units, so we need to convert to joules. So 1.6, 10 to the minus 19 joules for 1 eV. Then our electric constant, 9 times 10 to the ninth for the K. We have two protons, each of those 1.6, 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. And I'm running out of space, but this is another multiplication, so times 28 protons in the nickel nucleus, 1.6 times 10 minus 19 coulombs. So those are our Q1s and our Q2s. This much charge, we multiply the 2, this much charge, we multiply the 28. And then we're trying to calculate the R, so there's our unknown. Now, before you start calculating, you might notice there's 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 on both sides. Let's get rid of this one and this one. Um, and now we can go ahead and uh, calculate the R. So we still have our 9 times 10 to the ninth. Still have a 2, a 28. Still have one factor of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. And we have to divide by 2.4 times 10 to the 6 and the electron volt units have canceled off at that point. We've done everything in standard metric units, so we'll come up with meters. You should pause, run this through your calculator, and rejoin us when you're done calculating. So I obtained rounding off 3.36 times 10 to the minus 14 meters. That's from the center of the alpha particle to the center of the nickel nucleus. That would be our distance of closest approach. It's not to the surface of the nickel nucleus, uh, but center to center is the way we calculate R for the uh, potential energy. And this is in meters. Is that a reasonable number? Well, from our Brownian motion discussion or discussion of the atom, 10 to the minus 10 is a rough uh, diameter of an atom, and 10 to the minus 15 for a nucleus. So we're bigger than the nucleus, we're further away than the size of a rough nucleus, so on a ballpark estimate this is okay. Uh, so part B, we have an alpha particle that uh, approaches a copper nucleus and reaches a distance of 6.3 times 10 to the minus 14 meters, making a head-on collision. What is its kinetic energy in millions of electron volt units, MeVs, when that, and that a long distance away from the uh, copper nucleus. And again, we're, we're doing this situation. Um, all the potential energy is going to go to kinetic energy form. 
as the alpha particle is a long distance away. I probably should mention I'm ignoring any motion of the nucleus. Um, the nucleus is much more massive than the alpha particle. It doesn't move much. It's technically a you know, conservation momentum and the nucleus moves a little bit. We're ignoring that in this calculation, just giving us uh, a first, uh, first calculation, first estimate. In this course, we will never correct for the motion of the nucleus. So again, alpha particle, copper nucleus, we need to look up in uh, some reference and find that copper has 29 protons and one isotope of copper has 34 neutrons. The protons carry positive charge, the neutrons carry no charge, so it's again only the protons that contribute to the potential energy. Um, and again, we're, our distance that's given here in our problem, 6.3, 10 to the minus 14 meters, that's from center to center of the two objects. So let's go ahead and uh, continue our calculation here. Our potential energy, 9 times 10 to the 9. We have a charge of 2 on the alpha particle. The alpha is 2 protons, 2 neutrons. 1.6 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. That gives us the amount of charge on the alpha. And then the copper, 29. And again, uh, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. And we're told how far away we are, 6.3 times 10 to the minus 14. So on the left side here, we have the potential energy. And on the right side, we're going to get kinetic energy. What will be the units of this kinetic energy? And you should say joules. Everything here is in standard metric units, coulombs for our charges. Uh, so let's continue our, our calculation. Um, and I'm going to, I guess before I do the calculation here, I'm going to go ahead and throw in this factor of uh, converting MEVs to joules. So if I want MEVs, then I'm going to have to multiply by a conversion factor here to convert MEVs to joules. 1.6, 10 to the minus, what do you think the number is going to be to convert to MEVs? MEVs are millions of electron volts, a factor of 10 to the 6. And you should say 10 to the minus 13 joules. It's 10 to the minus 19 to uh, do the calculation when we go just from electron volts to joules. Uh, 10 to the minus 13 because the uh, million electron volts here is a factor of 10 to the 6. So now we're ready to do this calculation. And again, you should pause. Do the calculation, multiply across your numerator, divide by 6.3 10 to the minus 14, uh, divide both sides by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 13 joules, our uh, conversion factor from joules to MEVs. So hopefully you've done that on your own. And compare to my answer, 1.33 MEVs. So kinetic energy of the alpha particle when it's far away. 1.33 MeVs. So that's an example of uh, calculations related to alpha particles approaching a nucleus. It's not everything there is to the Rutherford scattering experiment, but gives you a little flavor of uh, this closest approach and reminds you about kinetic energy being converted to potential energy.